gosh, I've never seen anything like that. That is awesome. My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and I'm so freaking jazzed up today. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited. I am at Retro Expo in Plano, Texas. This is one of the biggest toy events of the year. I missed last year, but I was damned if I was gonna miss this year's event. So I am super excited. One of the things I'm looking forward to is possibly, just possibly, meeting Dirk Benedict. 1980s star of the A-Team and Battlestar Galactica, but A-Team, the A-Team, man. Oh my gosh, he was the face man and he was one of my absolute favorite characters on the show. But yeah, I might meet him today and maybe get an autograph picture with him or something. I don't know, we'll see what the deal is. But hey, I'm here for the toys. That's the main thing I'm here for today. So we're about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. So if you're ready to see what kind of goodies they got, type below in the comments, right? Bring me the goodies, Burf. So let's get started, head in there, cross our fingers and pray, 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 pray. And I know we're gonna strike it out of the park today that the vintage gods are good to me today. All right, guys, we're all checked in, so we're gonna head in here and see what we can find. Oh, check these out. Oh, wow. These all look, oh, there's Crane. This looks fantastic. Oh, wow, stone protectors. Oh, very cool. I actually have this Hulk. I found him in a thrift store, loose. Here's some cool Funko Pops. There's a goofy monster. I've never seen that one before. Super Saiyan Kale. Oh, wow, check out all these Transformers. Oh, those are awesome. Oh, check out this one. Super cool. Oh, here's some unique ones. I've never seen this green one before. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow, look at these. Oh, here's one in the bag still. Yeah, this carrying case is really cool. Oh, wow, look at these. I've never seen those before. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, look at that scale tail. Man, I've never seen that. That is crazy awesome. Here's the regular boys. Oh, these droids figures are epic. Wow. We got some Thundercats in the house. These ones are all behind bars because I think they're super rare. I think that one is called Wonder Bread He-Man. He's got brown hair and you could only get them in Wonder Bread back in the day. We got some more turtles down here. Look at these things, wow. And then up here we've got some Thundercats. We've got some Sunman. I'll check out these vintage. We've got another turtle here. Got some Thundercats. That Monstar is really cool. Lots of vintage He-Man. Got some G.I. Joe here. Yeah, these are awesome. Man. Here's a bag of Star Wars, I guess. Some more Joes. We've got the twins. Dr. Mindbender. Let's see, what do we got here? I'm not sure who that is. That's pretty cool, though. We got Tila. Got some turtle stuff in here, too. Mutant turtle. <laughs> yeah, check out this turtle moose. We've got some mint on card turtles over here. Oh, we've got some more Joes over here on these pegs. Yeah, I might have to pick up some Joes before I leave today. 
Oh, these Bucky O'Hares are pretty awesome. Yeah, check those out. Oh yeah, we've got some more over here too. And we've got some Biker Scouts, Darth Maul. We've got Clone Commander Wolf, Clone Commander Bly. Oh, here's the Armorer. And over here we have some Revelation. This man at arms actually looks really great. That Spawn Soul Cruiser looks amazing. Here's a Tigra. We've got Falcon, we've got Loki. Oh, so these are the Congo figures. I've got these loose. I've never seen them in the package before. Man, those look awesome. Check out these Godzilla packs. A different monster with each Godzilla. And then here's this wind up. Wow, super cool. Check out these Power Rangers. Oh, that one right there is epic. I'm really digging that one. Oh yeah, check out this one too. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> Everything's awesome, everything's epic. Oh yeah, that's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, check out that Popeye. Uh, I love that thing. I didn't even know they made this swamp thing. That thing is huge. Oh, here's some bootleg Homer Simpsons. Those look good. Really digging the monsters up there. And I don't think I've seen these turtles before. Wow, look at all these different Godzilla figures. These are so cool. Check those out. Wow. Oh, and then we've got this baby Godzilla. All right, let's check these out. This is my friend Chuck's booth. And he's got a lot of spawn over here on the back wall. These are really awesome though. I mean, check that out. Great sculpt. We got some Dark Ages spawn down here. Oh, check out this dude. And we've got some Jurassic World over here. Oh wow, look at that leather face. And then we've got Coraline. We've got Gray Skull Hero. Here we have the Wall of Mego. We've got Frankenstein. We actually have two versions of that. This Dracula is epic. We've got Caesar, Joker, Superman, Ultraman Jack. Oh, check out the penguin. And then we've got an ape soldier. And then we've got some Riddler, the Flash. Oh, check out the Rocketeer. And then we've got Green Lantern, Lord of the Rings. Here's some Men in Black. And then we also have some Indiana Jones. We've got some, well, those aren't vintage. Those are actually remakes on the vintage card. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. And we've got more Mego over here. Check these out. Oh, I've never seen this one before. We've got some Star Trek. And we've got some vintage 1980s Smurfettes. All these statues look fantastic. There's Boba Fett. Look at that. Wow. And back here we've got Lord Vader. Wow. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, very cool. You can cool. plug it in the lights off. Oh, well, oh, that's it right there. I have the other side of the lightsaber, but it's broken. So oh, wow. So it's discounted, actually. What a great sculpt. We got more Black Series down here. I really like that Biker Scout. And looks like we've got a vintage Yoda there. Check out these Rugrats. My friend Franco Blondie actually gave me a Rugrat in the box. Check out these figures. And 
we got some mint on card stuff over here too. Oh, look at these Dick Tracy's. Big boy, lips. Yeah, check those out. Very, very cool. And check out that glow in the dark Frankenstein. The Wolfman, we've got E.T. Oh man, I missed these They Live figures. Oh my God, I love that E.T. That is so awesome. Oh wow, we got some mask over here. We've got a lot of the vehicles. And the figures are right here. Oh, look at that mask. That's a different kind of mask. Oh wow, that looks like a bootleg Pikachu. Yeah, put it right down, right down there. Alright, check these out. I haven't seen these before. Seeing lots of new stuff here. I haven't seen these either. Wow, that is a complete Castle Grayskull. That looks fantastic. So jealous. Oh yeah, look, it's like brand spanking new. Wow, check out this Lego table. Tons of Lego people. Oh, there's Five Nights at Freddy's. Caroline would love that. Wow, I actually have a diorama very similar to this. I have a lot of these old soldiers, a lot of them. I should do a video on that sometime. These ones are in pretty good shape. Oh, that was such a great movie, Weird Science. And there's Toad Chet. Check out that Ollie versus Frazier. Oh man, I am freaking loving these masks. These are so unique. Gosh, I've never seen anything like that. That is awesome. Oh, they're like uh, customs. There's a He-Man. Wow, that He-Man is cool. Well, check these out. These guys were just telling me there's a guy that sculpts every single one of them. And then another dude that paints every single one of these by hand. Check out this lion -o. Holy crap, that's awesome. These are all, there's a Batman. Check these out. Holy cow, these are cool. That's our wave three. That's third, wave three. Third wave, and then uh, we have a fourth wave be coming out any month now. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh. That is a super cool one. Check that out. Definitely up my alley. Oh my gosh, check these out. Tyson's Punch Out. Oh my gosh, these look awesome. So cool. Oh, check out these Metallica figures. These are epic. Oh wow, look at this Jessica Rabbit. And we've got some Alien. What are these? Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I've never seen these before. Those are interesting. Holy cow, look at the size of that Godzilla. Wow. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of cool Godzilla figures. Check out those ones in the back. And we've got some figures down here. Looks like some vintage Migos, vintage Planet of the Apes. Jock Guru. And we've got some G.I. Joe. I'll check out these superpowers. 21 figures. We've got some vintage TMNT. Oh, there's a Grizzlor. All right, so I'm waiting in line right now to get a picture with Dirk Benedict, who's back there somewhere. There he is. <laughs> so, just uh, who knows how long I'll have to wait. I didn't pay for the VIP pass, which means VIPs can cut in front of me, but it's all right. That's all right. 
It's the man of the hour, the tower of power. <laughs> hey, it's Dirk. Guys, well, we just grabbed our haul, but let's head home and do a little show and tell. Well, surprise, surprise! On the way home, I decided to stop at a thrift store. In fact, this place is called The Thrift Store. And uh, I figured, why not? Why not pop in here real quick, see if maybe we can find some vintage toys. So let's head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray. Pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Let's see, what do we got? We got this truck, some Nerf guns, and we've got some baggies. Let's see, any goodies in the baggies? What's this back here? All right, let's see, what do we got? Looks like we got a broken action figure right here. The rest of it's just junk. Oh, look at this. We have a bag of dragons. These are all from like Michael's and they sell for about 20 to 25 bucks a piece. All right, we're gonna get this. They want $9 for it, but that's totally worth it. Oh, what's this? Let's see, what do we got in here? Oh, it's an April O'Neil. No way. Oh, that is awesome. What else? Oh, here's another action figure. Anything else in here? Well, all I know is that the April O'Neil is worth getting. Oh, what's this guy? That's interesting. All right, let's grab this bag too. Oh, no way, there's some more TMNT right there. Is there anybody else in here? Uh, maybe, maybe this thing right here. All right, let's grab this bag too. All right, let's see what's in this bag. Uh, just some junk. And what's here? Oh, there's a Mad Hatter. It's kind of neat. It's like the only good thing in the bag though. I'll check this out. That looks awesome. Actually, I think I have this. And we've got some big green army men in this bag. And what's in this bag? It looks like some sort of a uh, scuba diver. It's interesting. Wow, check out this tank. That thing is badass. Oh yeah. That is super cool. It's from 2007. Yeah, it looks like we've got some Dollar Tree figures here. There's a Tigger. All right, guys. Man, I am on the jazz today between Retro Expo and finding some vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in there. Oh my gosh. This is turning out to be one hell of a day. All right, so we're gonna head home and we're gonna do a little show and tell with the entire haul from today. All right, guys, we're back here at the bunker. Let's do a little show and tell. All right, guys, this is my haul from the thrift store and Retro Expo. Holy cow, am I excited about these scores? I am super, super jazzed up. So I thought we'd take a little closer look at some of the items I picked up at the show and the thrift store. So first up, we have this 1995 Destroya. So this is from the Godzilla line. And the guy that sold this to me told me this was the first time they actually made a figure for Destroya. So this is a first edition of that figure. So man, how awesome is this thing? I mean, look at the details on him. And he's made out of rubber, so he's real soft. and uh, But he's also very sturdy. So I absolutely love that. Up next, we ended up scoring this three-headed dragon, which I got at the thrift store. And this was in that bag of three dragons that I picked up. I actually have this one already, but it's a super cool piece and I don't mind having doubles. Then, of course, we have the Knight Rider. 
David Hasselhoff, AKA Michael Knight. This figure was actually in pretty good shape. He's got a little paint wear on his hair. So you can kind of see like kind of the skin tone coming through. And he's got a little paint wear on the back of his head. But overall, this figure looked absolutely fantastic and I got a really good deal on him. So we got Michael Knight. We also picked up, or I picked up this, uh, this was also in one of the bags from the thrift store. These are called Butt Ugly Martians. I'd never heard of this line before, but after doing a search on eBay, I think I might wanna actually start collecting some of these. They are super cool. And he is from 2001, I believe. And then I also picked up this Scare Glow. It's an Origins Scare Glow. I had been wanting one of these for a while. And the ones I've seen online were around $45 to $55, and I didn't want to pay that much. And the guy gave me a really good deal on this, a deal that I could not refuse. And then one of my favorite lines, which I have several, I have a whole collection of these loose and several, or not several, but I have a few of them mint on card as well. And they are the 1992 Dick Tracy line and this was based on the movie dick tracy it came out in the early 90s and this is a very underrated uh collection in my opinion because you can actually get these guys really cheap this was mint on card and i got this for ten dollars so if you're interested in getting into collecting vintage toys this is a great place to start and I know a lot of people say 90s aren't really vintage toys. They are in my book, but I think this is a great line for someone who wants to get into collecting older toys where it won't break the bank. 10 bucks for this mint on card and you can get the figures loose in many uh, occasions for five to eight dollars. So I, again, I thought this was really cool. This guy's name is The Tramp. So I picked him up. Then also at the thrift store, we found these vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got Ace and we also have April O'Neil. And man, I was really stoked about finding these. Oh, I was so jazzed up when I saw them in the bag. I was like, okay, yeah, these guys are absolutely coming home with me. Then at Retro Expo, I picked up this Donatello. I think that's Donatello. It's got the purple. I think that's purple or is that blue? It's not. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Donatello. Uh, yes, it is. So this is Donnie. He's got the D on his uh, uh, handkerchief there around his neck. So it's like, duh, it's got a D there, boy. So uh, yeah, so I picked up Donatello. He's actually got a candy cane in his mouth. He's got a gun, he's got a, a pistol that goes in his holster, he's got this lasso, and he's ready to round up some bad guys. And this was Texas themed to me, and being from Texas, I was like, okay, I, I gotta get this guy. So I uh, picked him up as well. Also at the thrift store, I found this Activision Skylander. He was also in one of the bags that I picked up. I thought it was cool as well. Then we also got this purple dragon this winged dragon this thing is so beautiful and i can't wait to do a future video with you guys and have these dragons set up with my castle playset that i picked up not too long ago at craftastic sam's which uh that was an epic score it was a 1994 fisher price castle playset so i also got this green winged dragon and then this 2003 lanard the core action figure and i also got this batman he was also from the thrift store so just kind of a a cheapy batman but i thought he was really cool his wings actually fold in and open up and then last but certainly not least i picked up some vintage tmnt trading cards look at that 25 cents a pack this is series one and I got two series two. So man, again, I just am so excited to be able to add these guys, this uh, this haul to my collection. And 
I'm just more than stoked about it. I really am super, super jazzed up. Well, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you. If you are, do me a favor, smash that like button and then check out this next video because I know you're gonna love it.